Hey, what's up everyone? Maurice here. Today I'm going to show you how to calculate the net promoter score, also known as NPS. So I'll show you a quick way to do this in Power BI without having to use DAX. So just a quick overview of what NPS is. It's a big picture metric that measures long-term customer satisfaction and loyalty. So the net promoter score is measured by asking how likely are you to recommend our business, company, product, or service to a friend, family, or colleague. And this is on a scale from 0 to 10. So 0 being highly unlikely and a 10 being extremely likely. People who select a 9 or a 10 are called promoters. Those who select a 7 or 8 are passives and people who choose a six or below are detractors. So once you have a good amount of data or surveys completed, you can get a good idea of your NPS score. In general, a score of 50 is excellent and a score of 75 and above is considered world class. The minimum score you can get is negative 100 and the maximum is 100. So research has shown that NPS correlates greatly with higher revenue and customer loyalty. So being able to measure NPS and find ways to improve NPS is extremely beneficial for any business. So here's the formula. NPS is calculated by subtracting the percentage of detractors from the percentage of promoters. And the common problem I see in Power BI when using DAX is it gets complicated, especially when you're dealing with blank responses. So let me go ahead and show you in Power BI how I do it or how I prefer to do it without having to use DAX. All right, so I have the uh, query editor already open with my sample data set. I have 29 customers and 29 responses, and they've given a score again from zero to 10. How likely are you to recommend our business product or service to family, friends, or colleagues? The first thing we're going to want to do is label each score and give them a customer type. Basically, we're going to la label 0 to 6 as detractors and then 7 and 8 as passives, 9 and 10 as promoters. And to do this, we'll create a new column. We'll go to add column and we'll use the conditional column so that we don't have to use any code. We'll name this customer type. Choose score. We'll do the promoters first. So we'll say if score is greater than or equal to nine, they are promoters. Next, we'll do the passives. If score equals eight, they are passive. If score equals seven, they are passive. If score is less than or equal to six so from zero to six they are detractors else no all right so you can see here we have a couple of errors uh, first let's change the data type to text And we're going to change the errors and label them as no response. Next, we're going to create another column. And this is the important part. This is the trick to be able to calculate NPS without any DAX. We're going to give a score for each customer type. So a, a promoter will be a score of 100, a detractor will be negative 100, and passive will be 0. So to do this, let's do another conditional column. We'll name this NPS score, and we'll use the customer type column. So if customer type equals promoter, then we give them a score of 100. If customer type equals passive, they get a score of 0. If customer type 
equals detractor, they get a score of negative 100. Else, no. Now let's change the MPS score data type. And we want to pick whole number. So that's it for the query editor part. Let's head over to the uh, report view. We'll check our number to make sure it's accurate. We'll hit close and apply here. So for the uh, MPS score to be calculated correctly, we need to do one extra step here. Click on the MPS score field and we're going to click on column tools and we want to make sure summarization and by default it's set to sum. We want to set that to average. Now let's check our MPS score by creating a simple table. Let's drag customer the score that they gave us the customer type and the MPS score column that we created and our score shows as 62.96 which is an excellent number but as a company we're trying to strive for world class which is 75 so typically I think I mentioned this earlier 50 is excellent 75 is world class but it's going to depend on your industry and the type of business and product you might have to do a little research to figure out what's a good score for your for your business or for your product let's also double check this they have NPS calculators online I found one from Qualtrics and the customer type column that we created earlier comes in handy we'll create another table let's drag the customer type NPS score change the MPS score to count. This gives us the total for each customer type which we're going to enter in into the calculator. Here's the online NPS calculator that I found. Let's enter in the values here. 21 promoters. We had two passive and four detractors. It shows that the MPS score is 60, 63, which is rounding up, and that is what we got earlier with 62.96. So it looks like it's calculating properly, and that's the uh, easy way to calculate NPS without having to use any DAX. Let me know if this was helpful. Also subscribe if you find these videos helpful. That also lets me know if I should continue to create these videos. I honestly enjoy making them. I learned a lot just from making them and I really like helping people out. So, and if you have any questions, leave a comment or message me on LinkedIn. I'd be glad to help. And that's it. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.